Over there, see that hill? If I zoom in, there's a camp, camping area. A lot of these hikers belong to that and they're all camping there and being taken out for map reading and that. I've got to get over there. That's where I'm going. And I've got a feeling in a minute I turn left. I hope I do. <laughs> the streams down there, I can see some, I can see the valley. I can see the valley. And um, I can see the, the hill right through there. I'll just zoom in again. We might be able to make out some vehicles and tents and stuff on the top of that hill over there. There, look. That's where I've got to go. That's Sanford Hill. It's not called that, but that's what I'm calling it for now. I've got to walk along the top of that to the village of Sanford, where we will make decisions when we get there what we're going to do. If we do not make it for the four o'clock bus, and I'm not rushing to do that, we will walk on to, to Congressbury. If we miss the Fort Coppolas, there's a two hour wait anyway, so you just as well walk to Congress, you know, be honest. I am beginning to recognise this route now. Yeah. If I'd um, carried on earlier and not come down, I would have come out here anyway. It's a junction point. It's a junction point. And round the corner, yeah, I would have come. I've done that one loads of times. Just haven't done that one very often. I might have only ever done it once, for example. Anyway, it's a possibility we turn off now down this track here to get down to the stream area. Yeah, I recognise this. If we carry on round there, in about 10 minutes, quarter of an hour, we'd end up at the start of the very beautiful valley but we're going down this way and we will come out we can come out put it that way close to the pink cottage and then we we then have to do a bit of a repeat along a walk we did earlier this morning not a, not at the base of Dolbury Hill Fort the hill fort is right over there in the distance that big hill there, that is Dolbury Hill for it. And I'll just zoom into the top of it, which I always call the bosom of the hill for it. And it's there. That bit there, that's the top of the Dolbury and Rowbarrow Hill for it over there. I could have gone that way. I could have done a circular a minute ago, gone down and walked up along it. But I'm, I tend to see it quite often keep the the fort for a separate occasion if I'm doing some exploring in Roborrow. Um, I like the fort uh, as a thing on its own so basically I will be I will do it but not I'm not doing it today there's nothing to stop me doing it if I want to but I'm not going to I'm keeping it for another visit And if, when I do that, it could be that I go along it, up the air of Outstanding Beauty, and then make my way to the West Mendip Way. Um, that would be a different walk. I, I had thought about doing that today, but because I only did the West Mendip Way a couple of weeks ago, when I did the Winscombe Circular, I didn't fancy going up the Strawberry Line again, um, which I'd done quite a lot this year. So, and I haven't done a lot down there, so I thought, well, no, I'm, I'm going to go back and I'm going to make my way up to that big campsite on Sanford Hill, near the quarry. And then I'm going to decide when I get to Sanford. All right, remember, and I got three hours, but, and I think I would need it to get there for four. If... I don't make it and I miss it I will walk on to Congressbury because there's no way I'm hanging about for two hours waiting for a bus 
And I don't, like I said, when you have your own transport, you don't have any of these worries. You don't even think about it. You just park your vehicle up and go off and do your thing. I often used to be out in the evenings there. You know what I mean? I didn't have to worry about the time or anything. I was just keeping an eye on whether it was getting dark or not. So this is Sheila on the 13th of May 2023. Um, this Eurovision Song Contest on tonight. We've got somebody in it. Um, it's been really, though it's hosted in England by Liverpool, Ukraine won it last year and it's really them that are being able to use our country to host it. If you know what I mean, because they're they're at war with Russia at the moment. So basically, um, they're they're hosting it in our country. I got a th we were runners up in it last year with a bloke with long blonde hair and a beard. He he came runners up. He was very close to winning it, but uh, he's a, I think he's he's hosting. He's helping to help. He's helping out. Just a little bit of information for you. Uh, Elon Musk has taken on a, a new executive person to help run the business so that he can concentrate on the technical stuff and, in, and, and inventing stuff. That she'll do all the admin, basically, she, she, and the salesman, the marketing, you know, all that which he didn't like doing. Yeah, it was announced yesterday. She got some foreign name, so I don't know. I can't pronounce it or anything. Oh. Right, now we, when we get down here, there's a little path. Which I've often wondered where it goes. And um, I think it goes very close to the path that I was on earlier, right? I've got a feeling it doesn't, that, that means you miss out the pink cottage. But I'm not sure, I don't want to go down it. I've wanted to go, I think I have been down it. I think it ends up I got a feeling that ends up very close to my path down there. But I'm not going to do it because we did that path earlier. We'll go this way. Just going to turn off for a minute. Over and out. Right then, I've, quite often I come, most of the time I come, I do that track up there by the by this stream. Today I diverted off just a couple of back tracks along the top there. And I've just come down from here, and I'm going to go past the Apple Tree Cottage. Um, with its ruin in the garden. And it's um, beautiful, beautiful cottage. Which he gives, allows us to walk through, which is very nice of him. So there is a path up the top. I, I, I always like walking through here. I've had water here before now when I've needed it as well. I've, in the early days before I didn't always carry enough bottles with me. And, um, yeah, somebody, the boys on the bikes are not coming through here. I think that's fair enough. But I don't think they mind the walkers. Especially just an old walker like me. I'm not even old really. Some people would class me as young. Some of the old walkers I meet. In the late 80s. Yeah. yeah, it's a lovely little cottage, isn't it? It's um, out of a fairy tale, isn't it? It's like a little ice, icing on the cake cottage. He's done up the barn really well. Yeah, it's really nice. It's really pretty, isn't it? 
Really pretty, I love it. I idyllic, that's what we say, idyllic. do some work on the water coming through that goes all the way along on the route we'll take back now we'll follow the water and the tree house up the top there he's done something to that as well yeah it's a lovely lovely little cottage isn't it very pretty I love walking through here it's beautiful We might make that into a holiday chalet or something, might not we? That place. It takes time when you've got to work and then spend your weekends doing it. All takes time. He did cut quite a few trees down to open up the space up here. And I think he keeps the goats uh, um, the goats in the field up here now. This is all an old mining area with ruins as we walk along. Basically, we're going to join up just a short bit of path, actually, now, that we went along earlier today when we were heading into the Warren. Um, we'll just join up. this some wild garlic. Look. That's quite nice, isn't it? And the stream's running this side. Now, in the past, I've got a feeling it crosses over in a minute and runs that side. But I'm not sure. Yes, I can see the pipe now. That's it, crosses over here. I was up there a minute ago on a track coming down through the Warren. And here we have the stream emerging here, look. And gushing down. Now I have seen the stream almost empty before now. Some bluebells he's got there, lovely big trees. I think it's a maple tree, this one. Looks like a maple. I'm just going to stop and take a few pictures video again as I stroll through this beautiful little Pixie Land area. Pixie, Pixie Hobbit Land. I wouldn't be surprised if the man back there doesn't own all this as well. I didn't realise it was privately owned. There's some goats over there, relaxing. They've got more area to move about in now. They used to be called in, um, kept in a much smaller paddock in the past. So I took pictures by mistake then. I was just saying, I expect he bought all this land and probably this wood. Um, in there, there's all evidence of ruins from the mining miners that did a lot here. There's uh, lots of evidence of... Um, where people lived. Brickwork. Of course I have shown this and shared this many times over the last 15 years when I've been coming here. Um, with different cameras. Yeah, see there's a wall there and a tree's grown into it. Yeah, like I said, we've got a small little bit of stretch of walk to do past the base of Dolbury Hill Fort, which we did on the way up. But of course, we're going back the opposite way. It's not a massive walk. And... Um, and it's just lush, like the whole of this wood is. Everything's lush. Look up there. Look. Absolute beauty here. Absolute beauty. Someone's got a wigwam up. He could have children, you see. Um, I, I don't know. I've only ever seen him on his own. He might allow someone to camp. Might do, mightn't he? 
Look at this lovely tree here. It's beautiful, isn't it, that one? Looks like it's made up of loads and loads of vines. It's a fir it is a fern tree though. But I just wondered if this was vine growing over the fern around the sides of it. And look at the size that was once. I got a feeling I remember that one. Which I do remember that tree. I've got pictures of that. It was very beautiful actually, that big tree. It had several prongs to it. I, I took photographs of it. It's gone now. Yeah, so basically we've come, we've done a massive circle today. Not a massive, massive one. We've done a up through a long a track going there and up to the what I call the happy beautiful valley and then um, up to the air of outstanding beauty which wasn't looking very hazy um, it was looked very grey and it was cold when I got to that stage you know it was windy and and grey so I'm glad I didn't walk across the top of it glad I've kept to the warren it's very very beautiful it's, this is a lush time of year you know this is one of the best times of the year to see the green the pure green that you get on the leaves at this time of year they are absolutely powerhouses of photosynthesis and they're beautiful Waving in the wind like that, all working in harmony together. Providing us with absolutely brilliant oxygen. Right, I'm going to go down here. It looks very muddy there. So I'm going to get down here. And I'm going to walk on this old stream bed. And it probably still gets used as a stream bed, by the way. When there's real torrential rain. Well, you can see it does. Look, you can see how stuff's moved along. This will be quite a lot of videoing today. My first trip out this year to Roebarrow, as far as I know. But I've got, a, like I said, I've got this feeling before I broke my wrist. I might have come out. Um, I don't know why that bit wasn't saved. It might be saved in another wallet, another video wallet I've got just because I didn't write it down in the book doesn't mean I haven't got it safe somewhere yeah here we are now earlier I got to this point there and I walked up that way and around and then up now we're back on what what's good about right we're going back on the familiar track but we're going in the opposite direction and it gives you a totally different view it gives you a totally different perspective over and out a minute